Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Kind of a bit of a musings video today really. Not a review of this pen, this is the Platinum Curidas. Platinum's uh, retractable fountain pen. Now, there are a number of very good retractable fountain pens on the market. And when I say a number, I mean kind of like two other main ones. The Pilot Vanishing Point or Capless, whatever you want to call it. And which, you know, retails for, in Australia, 200-ish plus. And then the Lamy Dialogue 3, uh, which in Australia retails for, you know, 500 Australian plus. And the Curidus came out uh, at the beginning of 2020, from what I can remember, and retails for around 100, 120, depending on where you go. So... It's a much cheaper option than both of the other retractable fountain pens. A lot of people love it, and a lot of people have other things to say about it. And unfortunately, I'm one of those ones that has a few other things to say about it. Firstly, a couple of things I love about this is that the fact that the plastic feels pretty good. Um, the clip you can take off. So it comes with a little plastic tool that you hook underneath the clip and the clip pops off, which is great because um, part of my issue with the uh, vanishing point is the fact that that clip gets in the way. Um, but I think also the internal mechanisms of the Curidus and how it is put together, uh, they're pretty complex, but quite clever. Aesthetically, it does nothing for me. Like the knock there on the back is just ridiculous. Like that is far, you know, far too long, but the mechanism requires a certain length uh, for the nib to protrude far enough out. So that's what it is. Um, I think that there are a couple of different finishes, there's a few different colors and things that are uh, nice. Um, I do like demonstrator pens. Um, and like I borrowed this particular one from, um, you know, a fellow pen uh, enthusiast. And uh, I've been using it for the last few days and I've got thoughts. Um, I cut, let's talk about a couple of basics of my thoughts with this pen. Firstly, holding the pen, the clip does get in the way. I'm left-hander, obviously, and I don't know if that changes anything for left or right, but I think there's something in the pulling of the pen across the page versus pushing it that there's a little bit more guidance on the index finger for a left-hander writer, and perhaps that's where we feel that a bit more. So I could easily take that off and that would not be a problem. Um, I think the weight of the pen is nice. The, as I said, the feel of the plastic and the width of the, the section and everything, it, it feels okay. Um, I think as a cheaper retractable fountain pen, I think like it does a lot of things really, really well. But a retractable fountain pen is retractable. So you click the button on the end there, the knock on the end, and the nib comes out the front. It's very cool. And then it, you know, retracts back in and it does everything it's supposed to do. The issue is, and of course it's never going to happen on camera, is that I find the mechanism to be clumsy. It gets stuck a lot. Um, it gets, when you push it back in, it gets to kind of like there and then locks. Um, so I'm asking questions today. Do you think that the Curidus is worth the money? Do you think that it is? I think, personally, I think that uh, there's a lot to be said for this pen. I think... Providing a retractable fountain pen in a, sli in a slightly more cost-effective uh, price point is good. You know, it's platinum, so it writes consistently. Like, this is an extra fine. Um, and my word, it is extra fine. Um, it feels extra fine on the page. The line is extra fine. But in saying that, it's not like super dry either. So it does everything it's supposed to do. Um, I have it inked up at the moment with uh, Pilot of Roshizuku Konpeki, which is a lovely, lovely ink. Um, One thing I want to talk about this pen though, and there's been a few reviews come out over the last little while about something else as well. So, this is the Platinum Curidus. This is the Lamberto 3088. This is a Chinese fountain pen. Now, obviously, this is a smoke finish. 
but what can we all say? This is very, very clearly an absolute clone, not detail for detail, but more or less of the Curidas. This pen retails when you buy it in Australia, well, from China into Australia, for about 18 to 20 Australian dollars, and that will only get cheaper. Um, it retracts. I'm not even going to bother really inking this one up. The nib on the page, like, I'm obviously it's not inked, but like, it actually feels a lot smoother. This is a fine, as opposed to the extra fine. So I'm sure it does everything it's supposed to do, but the materials feel cheaper, and the mechanism is clumsier. Um, the feeling of the mechanism is clumsier. Admittedly, this one I, has not stuck at all in any time I've clicked it open. Um, but it comes with a converter. The Platinum doesn't come with a converter. The pl Platinum uses its con you know proprietary cartridges and converters and all that sort of stuff, which are widely available. It does come with a cartridge. Um, but there's just something about the finishing of the Lamberto on, you know, on the mechanism and everything that is just slightly clumsy. Um, and I know that it costs a fifth, a sixth even, the price of the Curidas. But with the Curidas, you're getting good materials, you're getting a good nib, you're getting, like, even a warranty and things like that. Like, you know, you have a retailer that you can go back to. Um, and yes, there are a few different, minor, minor differences in the, in the pens, but even, like, the way that they're labelled. Like, it is such a rip-off. So does the Platinum hold its place in the fountain pen world? Well, I think future versions of this pen will. There's a few things that need to be fixed. There's a, like that clicking in the, me the, the mechanism getting stuck occasionally, that needs to be addressed. I'm not the only one who's found that. There are Reddit, you know, um, posts about it and all those co kinds of things. It's been brought up by other reviewers. It's not the easiest pen to use. Um, to clean, like cleaning, like the uh, the 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 feed and everything, fine. Uh, but like you can see, there's ink all up there in the uh, top of the pen. So little things like this that just need to be addressed. You know, the vanishing point has been around for years and has undergone many changes and developments, and it's probably one of the perfect retractable fountain pens that have ever been produced. And there have been a number of others that are no longer available from other brands or are available to, at exorbitant prices. So, as I said, I want to know your thoughts on the Curidas. I want to know what if you think it's worth the money, if you use them, if you've had any issues with them, um, because I think the concept is good. A retractable fountain pen at this price point is great. Let's now just see if we can get it, um, get platinum, or hopefully platinum to take it up a notch um, just because I know this is not the same quality but if Lamato can make a pen for $18 then for a hundred and odd dollars platinum can do something really special so I hope you found this video interesting um, as I said comment below like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff um, I'd love to know your thoughts on this pen in the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.